Hello and welcome to another training video from Ambrell, an Amuratherm company. Now that you've got your Easy Heat Small set up, it's time to heat your part. Your Easy Heat Small is a very versatile induction heating system and it will work with a wide variety of coil shapes, inductance values, part sizes, and part materials to efficiently and repeatedly deliver heat to your parts. The Easy Heat Small automatically senses the correct resonance frequency for your coil, part, and resonance capacitor in the workhead. It tunes to that frequency when the power is turned on, tracks it during the heating cycle, and displays the frequency on the front panel. When the power is turned off, the display on your Easy Heat will show the last frequency used. To maximize the heating efficiency and to be able to draw maximum power from your Easy Heat Small into your part, it is important to correctly match the Easy Heat to your coil and part. Your Easy Heat has a workhead with one or two capacitors and a multi tapped matching transformer. Correctly matching the Easy Heat to your coil and part is achieved by selecting the correct tap on the transformer and by fitting the correct capacitor or capacitors to the workhead. Ambrel has supplied your Easy Heat Small with the correct capacitors for your application, so you are unlikely to need to change capacitors unless you use the Easy Heat for other heating applications. We will show you, however, how to change capacitors in this video, just in case you need to do so down the road. If you purchased a custom coil that was shipped with your Easy Heat Small, the heat station has already been set to the correct tap at the factory. Just ensure that the tap number stated on your data sheet is the same as what is set on the heat station. We'll also show you how to adjust the tap in this video. Before we begin our demonstration, let's review the buttons that are on your Easy Heat Small. The button on the left, under the screen, is the Start button. It's used to begin heating. The button just to the right of the Start button is the Stop button which is used to end heating. The button that's central around the arrows is the home button. The button to the left of the home button is the page button. The arrow buttons are used for navigation and setting the current level. Now let's get started by turning on the Easy Heat Small. With the system now on, you can see that the frequency is bouncing around, which indicates that the coil is not tuning. So now we'll turn it off. And in order for us to check the status, we need to click the page button, which will go to system status, and then press the up or down arrow. And in this case, it tells us that we need to raise the cap value as there's cap over voltage. So consequently, our next step is to in fact increase the cap value. Now, in order to change the caps, we need to remove the handle. There are two screws in the handle that we must remove. All right, with the handle on the work head removed, now we need to remove the cover. There are two additional Phillips screws holding the cover on. With the screws now removed, we can slide the cover off. You can see the capacitors now. We need a 3 sixteenths Allen to remove the capacitor. All right, the old capacitor is removed, so now we can just place the new one there and then secure it in place with the 3 sixteenths Allen. Allen. 
All right, now we slide the cover back on. We need to secure the cover in place with the two Phillips screws. And finally, we just need to put the handle back in place and secure the two screws to secure the handle. And with that, we've made the capacitor adjustment. With the capacitor changed, now you have to update the Easy Heat Small Power Supply to reflect that change. Press the page button, then the right arrow until you get to heat station. Then you press the page button. Then use the right arrow to get to modify cap. Press the page button. This is a 150 model. Press page. And then you increase the cap number to your designated value. Then you hit the center dot to bring it back to the home page. Now, with the capacitor changed, let's press the start button. As you can see, the unit is on. And we're getting 218 kilohertz with no errors. Frequency movement is stable, so we don't see it bouncing around like before. And there's no asterisk. So the capacitor adjustment resolved the issue, and the coil is tuning properly. Now, let's learn how to identify when you need to adjust your tap. The power is on as you can see, but we have an asterisk because we're only getting 66 amps. If we press the page button, it says we need to decrease the tap. So then, we need to press the page button, go to system status, and if you press up or down, it will tell you your previous faults. In order to change the tap on your Easy Heat small workhead, we must first remove this cover. As you can see on the back of the workhead, we have the top left and bottom left pins attached. And that indicates that we are on tap 5, according to the 3x3 matrix that you see here on the screen. Now, based on the message we received from our Easy Heat, and that was to decrease the tap, we'll go down to tap 3. As you can see in the matrix, it shows us what adjustment we need to make. So we need to loosen the screw. And then you'll see that we're just going to change the connection. So we'll be at tap 3, and then we'll tighten the screw. Lastly, we just need to put the cover back on. In order to change the tap on the heat station, we must press the page button, go to system options, press the right arrow, press the right arrow, and press the right arrow again, then, to select, we press the page button. We want to modify tap. We press the page button. We are currently on tap 5, as you can see, but we want to go to tap 3. So we press down until we get to tap 3. Then we finally press the center dot to go home. Now, let's turn the power on. As you can see, we're getting around 911 watts. And when you press the center button, you can see that we are in fact meeting our set point. This has been another training video from Ambrell, an Ameritherm company. Please contact us should you have any questions. Thanks again for watching.